Let's take a look at uh, what's called a sinking fund for with a, an ordinary annuity. And uh, what a sinking fund is, is um, it's a way of finding what kind of uh, periodic payments, oftentimes it's monthly payments, um, uh, just kind of depends on the scenario, um, where you have some sort of financial goal in the future and you want to figure out, for instance, how, how much should the monthly payments be into some sort of account that earns uh, interest compounded a certain number of times per year so that you do meet that financial goal. Uh, so let's say, for example, uh, we would like to uh, have a future value. So our financial goal is uh, $1,611.88. Um, and the particular account has 3.4% uh, interest compounded uh, monthly and let's say we would like to uh, meet this um, this financial goal in four years um, so we're going to be making monthly payments for four years to meet this uh, financial goal and we need to kind of find out we need to find out what the um, uh, what the uh, monthly payment should be here uh, so formula for our sinking fund is our payments, our periodic payments is equal to the future value and then uh, times the interest rate per period divided by 1 plus interest rate per period raised to n and n is the total number of payments um, so that can be found by uh, number of compounds per year times the number of years and then minus 1. So for this particular example uh, our payments uh, is going to be equal to our future value of, of sixteen eleven and eighty eight cents divided by our in or, i'm sorry not divided but multiplied by the interest rate per period which is point oh three four divided by twelve divided by one plus point oh three four divided by twelve um, and then raised to the um, twelve times four that's going to be the number of payments made and then minus one. Uh, so if we write this out in the calculator, we could do sixteen point, oops, sorry, sixteen eleven and eighty eight cents times zero point zero three four divided by twelve. Uh, not as big deal about because we only got one term in the numerator. Um, we could be extra careful and we could put parentheses around it. Uh, it's not needed. However, the denominator has two terms, so we got to be a little bit more careful. So. Uh, division bar, parentheses for the uh, denominator, parentheses for this base here, um, so that's going to be 1 plus 0 0.034 divided by 12 raised to the 48 power minus 1 and then we need to close parentheses um, for the uh, denominator and then we can throw that all into our calculator and we should arrive at um, the monthly payment should be $31.40. So if we make monthly payments of $31.40 for the next uh, four years, we will meet this particular financial goal. Um, and that's what a sinking fund is.